Hey, 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 what's going on everyone out there on YouTube? Hey, it's me, Crazy Gabano, back again, scratchy head, with a new video for you guys. So today, I figured I can try something that has actually been uh, quite a bit of popularity within the you know gaming community or the YouTube community uh, when it comes to making uh, tag videos, respond videos. Uh, it's kind of like a new thing that's been trending around, and I figured I can get my shot at this you know I no one tagged me because normal for the most part when it comes to like respond tag videos uh, you're supposed to make a video tag people and then they give their response on it so uh, I'm just gonna make this just cuz uh, I have some extra time and I actually checked out Dinky Dana's response to this video and you know I do like watching his videos from time to time and it's a three question video and it's basically called games chips and dips not nah, <laughs> it's uh games chips and trips so basically uh those are the three questions you have to answer and once you're done with the once you're done you know answering the questions then you could basically tag anyone you want and you know they can make their video and they can tag anyone they want so i kind of want to you know put my two cents in this and show you guys my responses for these questions so the first question according to Dinky Dana's video was if money wasn't an issue what two games would you like to have in your collection complete in box it can be any game for any system no matter what it can be um, homebrew prototype whatever you want if money wasn't an issue what two games would you like to have in your collection now for me I kinda thought about it and I kind of figured, well, what two games would I really, really want? Um, one of them would definitely have to be a Neo Geo game. This Neo Geo game has been going up in price dramatically as of lately, as much as, or as well as every other AES game, you know. So a lot of things has been going up. But this was the very last official game ever released for the Neo Geo uh, in 2004, which is actually, which is, um, this game is actually a upgrade to an existing game which um, basically puts more characters in the game the select screen is a little bit different they bring back the vitality game that was introduced in the fourth game of the series which obviously you know is originally from Mortal Kombat but um, I do have the MVS version of this game uh, for me to have the AES version of this game would be absolutely amazing, but as of right now, and the prices are going for, it's going to be a long, long time before I actually get my hands on one, and by the time I have the money for it, it might even go up in price, so who knows, so the first one will definitely have to be, this is my MVS copy by the way, of Samurai Showdown 5 Special, I mean, for some reason, I really, really enjoy this game. I mean, from the visuals to the amount of characters you have to select from the music. Uh, they improved this game so much than the original Samurai Showdown 5, which I do like the game, by the way. But this one uh, just adds a whole lot more into it. And it's just a very nice, solid game to show how awesome the Neo Geo was. And, you know, uh, pushing the system and, you know, showing off the amazing graphics it had and what the system was capable of doing and I really do like this game so to have the AES version would be an absolute uh, dream for me but having the MVS version alone is quite of a bit of an, of an accomplishment because um, the MVS versions alone they're going for like five six hundred bucks it's fucking absolutely ridiculous you know uh, this game has been going up quite a bit and um, it sucks to hear that or to see that, but that's just how gaming is overall. A lot of the game prices are going up, but we just have to deal with it and hopefully try to get those um, games we want for good prices. So that's going to be number one right there. Number two is actually a Saturn import that I recently came across from, from an emulation disc that I was sent by a good friend, David Bird from Scotland, and that game will be Battle Garega for the Sega Saturn. It's only released on the import Saturn. Um, awesome shooting game, you know, beautiful graphics, the music is like one of those um, soundtracks you can listen to outside the game, you know, driving in your car, you know, picking up all your hoes and all that good stuff. So, an amazing shoot 'em up game. Uh, the the asking price of this game is not too bad, um, you know, compared to Five Special, but it's around the $200 area. So, I mean, it will be a little bit 
a little bit of um, time for me to pick up this game since I do have the arcade version. You know, on emulation, I can just pick and play at any time. But I would like to have the physical copy as well. So hopefully, I can you know pick up a good price on it and you know be able to enjoy it on my Saturn. Since for the Sega Saturn, I only have what two import games, which is not enough. I need more. So that would be a great addition to the collection. Uh, an honorable mention for uh, this answer would definitely have to be Gal uh, not Galaga um, Dracula X has ever really wanted that game and Coriune for the PC Engine as well so those are some little bit of um, honorable mentions uh, number two what are your favorite kinds of chips uh, for me man it's really really hard to narrow it down but if I had to narrow it down to two being first place it would definitely have to be sour cream and onion because those are just absolutely delicious and cheesy garlic bread one of the new flavors that Lay's made the late chips made not too long ago uh, those are absolutely oh my god delicioso definitely really good but I would definitely have to say number one at maybe now that I just thought about it number one would have to be plantain chips oh my god oh my god I love plantain chips. Those are so good. I remember going to Miami when I used to go visit some of my family out there. We used to go to the local store, pick up some plantain chips, and oh my god, it was an orgasm every time I had put some in my mouth. It was amazing. And luckily, some of the Hispanic um, grocery stores around my area have them, so I always pick them up whenever I see them, and I just grub down on that good shit, so... Um, forget sour cream and onion, forget the cheesy garlic bread, I'm have to go with plantain chips, but the, the other two are definitely up there when it comes to runner-up, so I definitely have to say plantain chips are my favorite kind of chips. Um, but the last question that I have to say for the favorite trip uh, would definitely have to be the Dominican Republic. When I went there um, a little under seven years ago, I definitely have to say it's my favorite trip. Yeah, I know it's not Disneyland. I know it's not California Adventure. Hey, but uh, this trip was very special to me for many reasons. The biggest reason why this trip was very special to me was because I got to see my dad. And my dad currently still lives out there. You know, since my parents um, split up, you know, he stayed here for a couple of more years. And then he just went out there. He's been there for like, I want to say, eight or nine years. And, you know, when I got to go see him... It was an awesome experience. He got to show me around the area um, of the city he lives in, in Punta Cana. And we went to go to the beach. We went to go to some of the hotels around the beach. You know, got some drinks. And it was just a very fun time to hang out with my dad and to, you know, spend time with him. And just, you know, kind of experiencing how life is and how, you know, but yeah, basically how life is and how things are in other countries. And it was a really awesome experience for me. And another th reason why it was so awesome, because, it, like I said, it was my first time out of the United States. So, you know, I didn't really know what I was expecting. I didn't know what I was going to, you know, discover or stuff like that. But overall, it was an amazing experience for me. You know, I got to see my dad. And luckily, we talk um, every week, you know, at least once or twice a week on the phone. And, you know, that was a awesome part of my life. And, you know, here's a picture right here just to show you guys real quick. Hey, what's up? Punta Cana, Punta Cana, Republica Dominicana 2007. That's me. That's some girl. Some other girl. My uncle and aunt. Hey, over here chilling real quick. That's me. Hey. Yeah, that's me real quick. Hey. So, yes. Oh, I mean, it was co awesome because I was with my uncle and aunt. And, you know, it was just, like I said, awesome experience. And, you know, got to see my dad. So, that's always a good thing. So, hopefully I can go out there maybe sometime in the future to go visit him again. But, uh, you know, with the um, the flights, the, the cost of flight out there, not too, too bad. But, I mean, I usually just don't have enough money due to, you know, paying bills and, you know, buying stuff, obviously. But, I hope to head up, head back there, you know, sometime in the future. So, that'll be really nice. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say for this video. I would like to tag some people in this video, like my boy Oscar, Air Force Shields, Lucas and Bowden, Seek Fine Play, or yeah, Seek Fine Play, 
And uh, Ibram 10. Old school NYC gamer. Y'all know who y'all is, so you better try to make a response down below. Okay? So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Until then, this is Crazy Cabano. Take care, everyone, and peace. Now, Chad Bailey, I almost forgot your ass, but your sexy ass got to do it, too. Peace.